Hello guys and welcome to today's video. We're going to be doing something a little bit different today. We're going to be doing a reaction video. I started my uh, tracking career in 1999 and obviously I wasn't around for a lot of the seasons before that time period. So we may go back and react to some of the past seasons that is pre-1999. So... This one was requested by Danny Alvarez, a.k.a. Curry Mixes, which I will leave a link to his uh, YouTube down in the description below. Because today he also did a hurricane season reaction video to this season right here, the 2022 Atlantic Hurricane season. With this video, we are going to be looking over the 1935 Atlantic Hurricane season animations from first uh, Force 13. Which I will leave a link to their YouTube in the description below. All credits go to them, of course. So with that being said, let's get right into this and see what the 1935 hurricane season has in store for us. Preseason, preseason storm, you gotta love those. Tropical Storm 1, because back then, they didn't have names for these systems, so, looks like it was a decently, decent Tropical Storm by the looks of it, because it was a little, little long tracked, a little bit, and then we go a whole two months without anything, three months, <laughs> we go three months, alright, we got a TD2, going right over the islands, and it becomes a Tropical Storm, Category 1, Category 2, now it's, uh, oh wow, it's really, it's really cranking, isn't it? Category 4, and uh, that's, that, that was definitely an ace producer there, that you gotta love those, well, except if it, you know, obviously affects land, which is obviously not a good thing, but anything in between, that's, uh, that's good. Oh, here we go. The Labor Day Hurricane. I've definitely heard of this one. Tropical Storm. And there's Tropical Storm 4 going into Mexico. And the Labor Day Hurricane rapidly intensifies into a Category 5 hurricane as it makes its way onto Florida. This very southern portion of uh, Florida. And then going right into the Big Bend area. That had to have done some pretty extensive damage, if I do say so myself. And then we got we get a little bit of a break, you know. Obviously, after a Category Five, that's uh something that is a uh, that is needed. Got the Cuba uh, tropical storm here, and uh, well, another hurricane. Here we go, Category Two, Category Three. We got yet another major hurricane that went right into Florida, or not Florida, but Cuba, and then uh, peaked at a Category Four. So. You know, despite the slowness of the season, we've had some pretty impactful storms, it looks like, with this uh, season. Oh, we got a slightly wrong way Lenny before Lenny was cool. <laughs> Tropical Storm 6 uh, and another hurricane. I'm actually not surprised. And it does, it does kind of like a loop-de-loop -loop kind of thing. Go, it goes back into uh, Central America as a Category 1. This was this was a weird weird season by the looks of all these these storms. So far, I've, I think I've counted three majors. Another hurricane. Dear Lord, 1935. And look at that track too, huh? Miami Hurricane and Miami getting struck with another one. Amazing. And then we got Tropical Storm 8 over here. That's just do, doing the meandering thing. As some November storms do. And it's gone, and that's it. Labor Day Hurricane made the strongest landfall ever recorded. Hurricane 6 killed 
2,150 people. That's that's deadly. There's category three. We've we've had four majors. What? That's that's something. You know, when I hear 1935 and how inactive it really was, it was those it was hurricanes. Those multiple. You know, some people will say that it was an inactive season, but. For what it was, it definitely was not an inactive season. That's just totally far from the truth. I mean, you had multiple back-to-back hurricanes. You had four major hurricanes. You had a Category 5 making landfall on the Florida. And you had another hurricane that went into Florida. You had a Category 3 that went into Cuba. It's just... It wasn't an inactive season. I mean, yeah, there may have been eight, nine tropical cyclones, but it only takes one. That's the motto. It only takes one. In this case, there was like three, four, five of them that made landfall somewhere. So it wasn't an inactive season. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys tuning in. I will be doing more reaction videos as we head out through time. So... Sit back, relax, you know, hit that like button if you liked the video, subscribe for more of these, and all my weather, regular weather updates, which I will be doing here in the near future. Anyways, thank you guys, and have a good one.